all over. Are we still through? Since my phone still ain't ringing, I assume it still ain't you. Hey, Eduardo, man, nobody's calling you. I know. Sucks, man, whatever. Nobody's your friend. So, hey, uh, gonna try and make this one quick because I really could care less about it, but I'm only making it because it is for a title. And that's for the WBA a BS heavyweight title. And if you don't know what BS is, man, come on, man. Come on. Aguardo, man, I know you got it written on the cue cards. I'm not going to say the whole thing, man. It's bull stuff. The WBA bull stuff heavyweight title. It's Alexander Povetkin against a guy you don't know, and that's Cedric Boswell. I'll break down both fighters. Let's make this quick, get it over with and done so I can get on to who? The Cotto Margarito fight. Yeah, the rematch. I think you guys would rather listen to me talk about that anyway. Anyway, Alexander Povetkin is 32 years old, 22-0-0, 16, not 15 knockouts. Um, you know, he's fast, but he lacks the power to really uh, put himself on somebody. He has cumulative power, but I don't think he has cumulative power for the bigger heavyweights, you know, like the 250-pound guys, just saying. Uh, he just looked okay against Shigaev. I mean, there's nothing that was freakishly impressive about it. You keep expecting him to really get a lot better under Teddy Atlas with the way he kind of does the Mike Tyson stuff and the cover-ups and the way he can roll and pound the uppercuts in, but it, it's just not happening. I mean, he has good D, but I think that lack of power is really going to hurt him when he fights the bigger heavyweights. Um, Shigaev, whatever, you know, I mean, he beat Shigaev, but Shigaev's another six foot one, six foot two heavyweight. Not big. Cedric Boswell's only six foot three. I say only. I wish I was six foot three. If I was six foot three, you guys be talking about me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway, you know, his roles are similar to Tyson's. You know, he works the head and body. He likes to fight inside. You know, all these, uh, the jab is just the jab. He doesn't really use it to get inside. So, you know, why bother with it if you're not going to use that when you're a smaller dude to work inside? I don't understand that. Because Tyson used his jab. His jab was deadly. Then again, he's not Tyson. Uh, he is open for counters. He will struggle with reach fighters, and he doesn't, you know, he chicken wings when he jabs. So as he's popping the jab out, that right arm starts getting up there, and, you know, that's all nice and open for some nice blasts to the body. Going over to Cedric Boswell, who's 35-1, and one, and one with 26 knockouts. His one loss came to Jamil McCline way back in uh, 2003, and he lost that one. Uh, he went 10 rounds, and he lost. Because basically he ran out of gas. He was winning on the scorecards. He ran out of gas. So you got to wonder about his stamina. I mean, he's went 10 rounds uh, in his last two fights twice. But um, they were kind of, you know, he beat Oliver McCall. Yeah. And, oh yeah, this guy's 42 years old. I just want to throw that out there too. So obviously stamina and age have to come into question. As I said, he is six foot three, but he has an 81 inch reach. And this guy is fast for a heavyweight. Let me repeat that again. He is fast for a heavyweight. He would be fast for a cruiserweight. He might even be, he's pretty, he's like light heavyweight speed kind of deal. He fires that jab out. He fires straight shots to the body, to the head, lands very clean with that jab. I don't like the way he holds his left hand down, but hey, you know, he, he works the head movement and stuff. Tends to bend at the waist a bit too much, which leads him to be open for uppercuts. Uh, he had uh, he KO'd Beck. As I said, he beat an aged McCall. Uh, he got stopped by McCline. He's uh, mostly journeyman and has-beens like Zach Page. And I like Zach Page a lot, and he's from Ohio. Anyway, when you start looking at all this stuff, you know, I mean, his best weight to come in, if he comes in at 230 or less, I think he's going to give Pavekin a horrible time in there. I think Pavekin's really going to struggle against him because he does have an 81-inch reach, and he boxes. And uh, Pavekin's gonna gonna be in trouble with that, being pressure and trying to get in there. He's gonna eat a lot of shots. Uh, as I said, he fires that jab to the head and body works the one twos and the check hooks. He's so fast. It's like watch some of Roy Jones Jr.'s old fights, you know. And Roy Jones had a hell of a check hook, and he would get it and, and his hands kind of already out. Let me turn a little sideways. So his hand was already here. And he's like, Pah! you know, he would just fire it and catch dudes. Anyway, it's 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 nice to see. Um, he can move. He's very light on his feet. 
but as I said, you you got to question his stamina. And is he going to be willing to put in the work if he gets hurt, if he starts to tire, if guys start laying punches on him in the later rounds, will he quit? I don't know. But at 42 years old, this is your shot, bro. This is it, man. Um, I really don't even want to make a, a, a prediction on this fight because, I mean, it'll, it could be the most boring fight you ever saw with Povetkin winning. But I'll tell you what, just because I'm, I'm tired of Povetkin, I don't care a whole lot. I'm going to go with uh, Boswell on this. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the dumbest thing I've said all day. Anyway, I'm going to go with Boswell. I'm going to say unanimous decision. It goes the distance, and Povetkin gets upset, and uh, Teddy Atlas lost any shot at getting him a lot of money like two years ago when he should have fought Klitschko. Okay? So, yeah, we'll call this one the upset, and we'll see how that goes. I'm not scared, man. I got a month. I can put out another vid and change my mind. <laughs> anyway, this is Big Ragu. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think, all right? Be my friend. Be Eduardo's friend. It's all good, all right? Hey, Big Ragu, I'm out.